In this episode, you will learn how to accurately measure the water volume using the water flow sensor, Arduino and a 12 volt DC water pump. Working on the water flow sensor is a bit tricky and that's the reason most of the people complain about the wrong values. There are things that we need to take care of while using the water flow sensor. As per the data sheet, when water flows through the rotor, rotor rolls. Its speed changes with different rate of flow. If we can keep the pressure and flow constant, we can make an accurate water volume measurement system. I solved this problem by using a 12 volt water pump. As you can see, each time I press the push button, I get the same water flow and pressure. In this episode, I will also explain what's inside this water flow sensor and how it works. I will also explain the complete circuit diagram, making and Arduino programming. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the water flow sensor which consists of a PVC body. This water flow sensor is suitable to detect flow in water dispensers and coffee machines. Compact, easy to install, high ceiling performance and this water flow sensor has a high quality Hall effect sensor. Model is YF-S401. The working range is from 0.3 to 6 liter per minute. The water pressure should be less than or equal to 0.8 MPa. The maximum working current is 15 milliamps at 5 volts DC. Working voltage is from 5 volts to 24 volts DC. For more details, you can download a data sheet available on my website. The link is given in the description. As you can see, this sensor has a total of three wires, red, black and yellow. The red wire will be connected with the Arduino's 5 volts, black wire will be connected with the ground and yellow wire which is the signal wire will be connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 which is the interrupt pin. On the back side of this water flow sensor as you can see there is an arrow which shows the direction of the flow of water. So this side is the inlet and this side is the outlet. Now let's check what we have got inside the sensor and how the sensor actually works. Inside this water flow sensor we have a high quality Hall effect sensor. This sensor also has a rotor which rotates as the water flows from the inlet opening to the outlet opening. This rotor has a magnet which gives pulses to the Hall effect sensor. The flow of water or any other liquid should be in the direction of the arrow. This schematic is designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. As you can see the connections are very simple. J1 is a female power jack and this is where we connect a 12 volt adopter or battery. The 12 volts are used to run the 12 volt DC water pump. The ground is directly connected with the water pump while the 12 volts are connected with the water pump through a push button. The water flow sensor 5 volt pin is connected with the Arduino's 5 volts. The ground pin of the water flow sensor is connected with the Arduino's ground and the signal wire is connected with the Arduino's pin number 2 which is the interrupt pin. This is a 12 volt DC water pump. As you can see it has two wires. 
White is the positive wire and black is the ground wire. Over here I will connect 12 volts. As you can see the positive wire to the water pump is going through this push button while the ground from the DC female power jack is connected directly with the water pump. As you can see the three wires of the water flow sensor yf dash s 401 are connected with the Arduino. These three wires are connected as per the circuit diagram already explained. Now let's open the programming. The programming is very simple. It's just like the tachometer programming with some modifications. In this project I have used the Arduino's hardware interrupt zero which is available on pin number two of the Arduino. I have also defined a pin for the solenoid valve which you can use. As in this project I am only covering the basics so that's why I didn't add any LCD. Adding a 16 into 2 LCD is very simple. You can watch my videos on how to use the 16 into 2 LCD. For now I will display values on the serial monitor. The rest of the program is well commented. You can download this program from my website. You can find the link in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. While the Arduino is connected with the laptop, open the serial monitor. As you can see currently the value is 0. As you can see the measured volume is 38 ml. Now I'm going to measure this using a feeder which has markings 20, 40 and 60 ml. As you can see it's exactly 38 ml. Now let's perform another test and make sure you reset the Arduino. Later you can use a button to reset the value instead of resetting the Arduino every time. As you can see the value is 50 ml.
as you can see this is exactly 50 ml it's simply amazing the precision is really cool I'm really satisfied with the sensor now I'm going to perform another test and make sure you reset the Arduino as you can see the value is 55 ml this is 55 ml amazing I successfully performed all the tests support me on patreon for more videos I hope you liked today's episode like and share this video with your friends see you in next episode and thanks for watching